Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to Friday. Today we're going to have a little bit of a review of what we learned this week. Uh, so this one, it's asking us, what is the least common denominator? And if you remember how we did that, we looked at the multiples of 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. You can keep going, 24. Now what about the multiples of 7? 7, 7, 14, 21. Ah, there we go. So the least common denominator is going to be 21. Next, use the common denominator to find the equivalent fraction for each of these fractions. Okay, so we do our multiples of 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, multiples of 5, 5, 10, 15. So it looks like our common denominator will be 15. But, how, but we need to rewrite these fractions as instead of one third, it's going to be something over 15. So how do I go from 3 to 15? I would multiply that by 5. I have to do the, bottom, the same to the bottom and the top. So we have 5 over 15. Now this guy, how do I go from 5 to 15? I multiply by 3 over 3. So 2 times 3 is 6. 5 times 3 is 15. Now be careful, it didn't ask us to solve this fraction, it just wanted us to find the equivalent fraction, in uh, which case there is a common denominator. So 5 over 15, and yeah. 6 over 15 is our answers. Next, find the sum or difference. So we're going to actually have to find uh, our common denominator and go all the way through to finding what is the sum of these fractions. So you can do the common denominator thing. Or you can do the trick where you multiply, you share the denominator, so to speak. So with this fraction, I'm going to share over here 7 over 7. And then the fraction on the left is going to get 3 over 3. So now let's multiply these. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 7 is 21. 1 times 7, 7. 3 times 7, 21. So check it out. Now we have common denominators of over 21. A, and uh, we add 6 and 7 to make 13. So 13 over 21 is the final answer. Okay. Now we have mixed fractions again. Remember what we do? So we get rid of these whole numbers or put them to the side. So 2 plus 3 is 5. We'll hold on to that for a minute. Now 1 fifth and 1 sixth. I'll rewrite those. So 1 fifth plus 1 sixth. I'm going to multiply this right side by 5 over five, the left side by six over six, we get six over 30, and five over 30. If we add those together, remember we don't change the 30, we keep it as over 30, the fraction becomes 11 over 30. So putting these together, we have five and 11 thirtieths. And that's it for today. Good job.